YouTube is your girl Nikki Yours coming to you with another haul. This is my Irish Spring haul from Dollar General. Um, I have 17 Irish Springs, the two bars. Um, they were a dollar. Had a dollar coupon, totally free. This is part of my um, my package, care package for the tornado victims. I will be taking them out of the package so they'll be individuals. So it's 17 packages here, but it's actually 34 individual. Once I take them apart, it'll be 34 individual um, soaps. So that was totally free. And I had got these crispies for my cat, the salmon flavors. These are a dollar twenty-seven. I thought there were more, but it was a dollar twenty-seven. It had a dolly pilly, a dollar pilly on it, making it twenty-seven cents. So for this whole deal, I only paid twenty-seven cents. So I thought that was pretty awesome. So that's my Dollar General haul. If you guys have the dollar coupons, which I got from the Reinventing Beauty, which is a manufactured coupon. Yes, they will try to clown you and say it's a CVS coupon, which it's not. Because biggest day, it's at the top. Manufactured coupon. I did have to, um, I did have some altercations where I had to call, tell the lady call corporate. She called her DM. And of course, she was speaking in a different language. And I asked her to speak English. So she had to translate. And I talked to the manager. So he's supposed to be calling me back and said he would do it this time. Like he was doing me a favor. But in actuality, he wasn't. Because I was going to actually call corporate. But, you know, they didn't want me to call corporate because I've actually called it on that store before. So they was like, oh, well, you could do it this time. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. So I told him that he, I'm uh, not really extreme couponer, but I told him I was a couponer. And I do know the coupon rules. I do know what redeemable at means and only at when you have a coupon that says that. And I was explaining to him. He was like, yeah, I need to research a little bit more. I need to educate my cashiers. I'm like, yes, you do. So he said, well, if I when I get to the store tomorrow and research the coupon, if you're right, I owe you an apology and I'll call you and apologize. But if I'm right, I'm going to call you and tell you that I was right and we'll um, educate the staff still on coupons. I said, that's cool. So I left my name and phone number because I do need to make a report on the guy that was going to originally ring me up that told me that he didn't care what my coupon said. And that was a red flag there. I've ne never had anyone talk to me in that manner. So, of course, that was a red flag there. So, when the manager, district manager does call me back, I will be telling him about his cashiers at that store. They're very rude. And they will be they're quick to tell you what they're not going to do, which is not customer service friendly. So, yeah, we got some issues at that store. So, it's actually not in my area. I was over with my friend girl. So, I'll let you guys know the status on that. And also, I didn't follow up on the last video when I did from CVS when I... My extra care box was messed up, you guys. Um, the manager there at that store, the head manager, he did fix it. And I was able to get $23 in extra care bucks from the tech um, help desk. So I was very happy about that. So they did take care of me at the store, at the local store. It just the 800 number sucks. So, yeah. So sometimes, you guys, you do have to carry your coupon policy with you. Sometimes you will have to explain to the managers. They just don't know. And what you don't know will hurt you sometimes. So, anywho, that's my rant and my Dollar General haul. This was totally free with the exception of me paying 27 cents. That probably was tax. So, for the little cat food. So, run out and get your our spring. Take your coupon policy with you because you know how Dollar General is. Alright, talk to you guys later. Hope you like. Rate, comment, subscribe below. And thank you for all my new subscribers. Bye.